All right, tough act to follow. You guys talk to Chuma already, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, okay, I'll do my best. Jeff, you know, so much work obviously goes into to your off season as you, you go through the draft, summer league, etc. You know, how, how excited are you to see you know all the work that you guys put in the off season you know, start to unfold as the season begins? Uh, I mean, it's like an exciting time for the organization, exciting time for our team. But I will say that it's an exciting time for all 30 teams right now. If you're not feeling good about your team today, something's wrong. And, um, you know, we're, we're really excited to launch the season. And I know the guys are eager to get on the court tomorrow and start working. How does, how does you know, last year the team took, took a step up a level up, as coach likes to say, and got into the back into the postseason how do you, how does the preparation, how do, how do the expectations change now that you have that little bit of success under your belt? moving into, into this next season trying to do all it's, it's, it's basketball. It's not rocket science, right? It's the same things we always talk about. We need to not foul as much. We need to not turn the ball over as much. Um, you know, we need to execute properly. Um, so it's just growth. And, and it's something that you would assume um, it's the NBA is baked in. Like as young guys grow up, they do that stuff better. So when we were healthy, we played good basketball. We need to play, we need to stay healthy and play better basketball. And, you know, after that, Philip, we just kind of like go where it takes us. You know, we have a lot to learn about our team this year. I think it's really important. Obviously, you guys um, that track the CBA and the cap, you know we have some hard decisions coming, as all teams do. And we have a lot to learn about our own team, how it fits and what drives winning for us. But given those two things, given the health and given the kind of, uh, you know, expected uh, um, improvement of young players, you know, it could be, we, we hope it's an exciting season for us. Jeff, do you think you that um, I think you reached your off-season goals or most of them that you set out to do? Um, I would say that you know I don't really look at us going into any summer uh, as having like off-season goals per se because anytime you're in the off-season you're necessarily talking about dealing with other teams, and so you know the market is driven by you know what players you know want want you know are seeking to be moved. Um, what teams are looking to retool. So I don't really kind of like approach the offseason as we have offseason goals. Um, I know that we wanted to, um, you know, try to get a guy like Joe here, you know, who's a really, I, I won't even say a guy like Joe. We wanted to get Joe here <laughs> because he's a unique guy and I think he'll help, help us in every possible way. Um, and other than that, you know, um, we really feel that um, we have a lot of internal growth baked into this team. And I'll say, I feel like we have it baked in for years to come. I mean, that's what happens when you're drafting, you know, young guys and letting them play and, and, and building a team around them. So now they're going to come to the, they're all in their pre-prime years still. And, um, you know, we, we need to really um, understand the dynamics on our team this year. We have a lot to learn. Trey Martin's been busy the last couple of days. We all have been preaching consistency, continuity within the roster. Do you expect that's going to give some of y'all like a type of an, excuse me, a type of advantage for the first part of the season at least? I hope so. Um, I can't imagine there's a team with more continuity than us uh, roster-wise. I mean, we really didn't make too many changes. Obviously, we, we've, we've yes. added Joe and, and um, drafted you? a couple rookies. Right. But I do believe that continuity matters. But I always tell you guys, like, in, in, in uh, it has to be a continuity of a team that you believe in. If you, if, if you don't have a team that you think is really has a, has a, a ceiling and has a good trajectory, like why have continuity for that team? So obviously the fact that we have um, maintained continuity this summer kind of speaks to the fact that we believe in these guys, we think they're going to get better, and we want to track where this thing takes us before we make any kind of wholesale decisions. Um, it's a great question because one of the criticisms when we kind of like deviated on our path a few years ago was now we're going to be playing all these rookies that haven't earned minutes. And I think there was some merit to that. I mean, that's, that is kind of like the, the yin and the yang of a rebuild, right? And so now I think like it's going to be harder for these guys to get on the floor, quite honestly. I mean, we're not gifting anybody minutes. Um, and that's a good thing. You know, that means that we're getting better. We're, I think, you know, I don't know how great we are, but I do think we have good depth. We have, uh, we have talent spread out positionally. And um, so uh, I, I hope that they, I know they're both going to work. I know they're both going to be great teammates. And, um, you know, what the season brings, their rookie year, I'm not, I'm, I'm not certain, but I, but I think they're, they both have, uh, you know, a lot of potential and they're great kids. And, and you know, I think they're going to be uh, valuable players for our team going forward. I don't know what this season's going to look like.
What's our greatest strength? Uh, I feel that, um, I hope our greatest strength is health, you know, because it's been our greatest weakness in, in, in the last few seasons, you know. Um, I feel that, um, you know, we may not have those, uh, you know, all NBA guys on our roster, at least, at least they haven't been uh, ex exposed to that yet. But I feel that the togetherness, I feel that the skill set, I feel like the versatility, the depth, um, we already um, showed that we can be a high-level defensive team when healthy. I think that will only ratchet up this season. And um, I don't look at any one thing. I think that we, we have the kind of team that coach can look down the bench and win a different game a different way every night. And so, you know, I would say that would be, I would hope, our strength. But it starts with health. To, to that point, um, talk to all the game and not all the time, everyone's free to go for training camp. Yeah, no. Uh, right now, this is uh, for sure since we've kind of you know retooled our team. This is the healthiest we've been at this time of year. Knock on wood. And um, you know, obviously, that's that has a lot to do in this league with with the success. So uh, you know, right now, everyone's a go, and and you know, obviously, we'll manage different guys differently. Um, but we're excited about like the fact that we actually will show up tomorrow with a full roster. Yeah, I mean, for sure, like we'll be very cognizant of, of um, you know, how he's loaded up and, 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 and um, how we're um, uh, unfolding his minutes. That's obviously more of a question for our performance staff and for Arnie Kander than any than anyone and anything I could give you. But obviously, we'll be very um, protective of Jonathan's health and, and rolling him out the right way. But, you know, he will be a full participant in camp. And from there, we'll, we'll let, you know, Arnie kind of guide us on that. And obviously, Jonathan and Arnie, you know, uh, uh, will we'll be the ones that steer us on that. With Cole and uh, Marco being extension eligible, has there been any conversations with the organization and their representatives? Yep, so, um, you know, we have great relationships with both of their agents. Um, they're both, um, you know, very talented, high character young players. Um, and uh, obviously, there are timelines associated with all of these things. Uh, beyond that, I really, you know, am not comfortable commenting on that. I think that's, you know, uh, kind of team business that needs to stay that way. But, um, you know, two, two obviously um, bright young players that um, I think have value around the league, have value to our team. They each have uh, great representatives, so we'll, we'll see where that takes us. You know, the landscape of free agency is such that, um, um, you know, there's a new CBA. Um, we have to learn about our team. And, you know, um, it's, free agency is tricky a year in advance because you're trying to predict something that everybody wants to see a little bit of, not just us, but them. And so we'll have those conversations. We've, we've, we've you know, been in touch, but we'll see where that, where that all takes us. But either way, um, I would expect that um, those guys are, you know, pumped up to, 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 to get going and, and, and that they'll have good seasons for us this year. I saw Powell and Franz perform really well at the, at the World Cup and Joe and Gogo Mo were also possible. How valuable <coughs> is that World Cup experience, especially for the younger players, being in meaningful games, having to go over there? Yeah, I'm glad that you even mentioned Goga because, like, you know, Goga played really well. And um, it's a different experience for everybody. I mean, every national team is different, just like every NBA team is different. They all have kind of different levels of expectation and veteran players and whatnot. Obviously, Franz's experience was completely different from Paolo's and completely different from Goga, you know. But I think the fact that they're getting coached by different players you know, uh, uh, members of the staff and they're, and they're in different, different coaching staffs. They're playing with different players. They're in a different competition. It's all, it's all, you know, information that they're gathering and different ways of working that they're learning about. And so I think it's, it's great that they bring that back. You know, it's great to bring back, as, as we bring back a very um, continuity-laden roster, it's great to bring back some new information, some new ways to work. And I guarantee you that anything they share with Coach Mose will be, you know, um, processed and maybe like, you know, take, taken layers of to, to incorporate in his own way of coaching, you know. So I think it's been a great experience for all of them. And, you know, I know that they're rested. You know, Coach had them kind of like stay away for a little bit when they got done. And now they're ready to, like, they're chomping at the bit to start going. Uh, Jamal entering his, his first season. 
what do you want to see from him? How has he grown in these first two seasons? What do you want to see him kind of grow in this year for the season? Uh, I think you know he's a great leader. He's he's obviously he's like a he's like anyone. He's like he's like myself or any player or anyone any coach. You know, it takes it uh, takes time to um, kind of grow into you know um, how you're going to do this, wh what you're going to what tools you're going to use to be successful. And I just you know feel like coach has you know shown tremendous growth um, you know in in the way he wants to lead and the way he wants to relate to his staff and you know um, you know manage our team and and the guys. You know, done a great job. I would just look for more of that. I think our whole team is growing. You know, and you know, coach is a uh, third year. You know, now and he just continues to get better and better. And, and um, you know, he's been you know great to work with. Everyone good here? All right. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys.